Must be compelling. It is. Our first high-profile case. I just met with Alaya Johnson. Lamont Johnson's wife? Yeah. She's filing for divorce on the basis of spousal abuse and infidelity. What? Why didn't you tell me? Thought I just did. I mean, before you met with her. You didn't agree to take the case. Of course I did. This is what we've been waiting for. Baby, I don't think we should take this case. Why not? Oh, I see. It's because he's a baller, and you don't want to be a part of another black athlete being involved with scandal. <laughs> Do you blame me? Not every woman who cries abuse is being abused. And not every woman is trying to get a payout. But the ones that do, they don't care if a man's life is ruined. I'm not going to assume that every woman is out for gold, and you shouldn't either. Of course you're not going to think a woman has ulterior motives. What's that supposed to mean? Not every woman needs to financially rely on a man. As a matter of fact, Alea has her own clothing and shoe line. <laughs> her husband, the multi-million dollar athlete, loaned her the money to start. <laughs> loaned her? Do you view marriage as some sort of business deal? Is that what this is? Hughes and Hughes, lawyers who just happen to be married? You see what this is doing. I don't want to be involved in this case. Okay, then I'll take it. No. We agreed that when we started this firm that we would never take a case the other partner didn't agree with. And now that's changed. So you want us to just pass up on this case because it goes against your grain. Is that fair? Keaton, we can't afford to be at odds with each other. We're on the same team, remember? What if you're wrong? Then another life is ruined for no other reason at all but greed. She's not like that. I wasn't referring to her. <laughs>